hi guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you are new so today's video is basically gonna be a sit down video um, because I've been getting a lot of questions on like how I make it through nursing school being a mom working full-time um, you know going to class being a full-time student um, basically like how I do it, if I have any tips how I um, just like manage everything and get through everything so I also have a couple things I want to show you guys because um, I got some new nursing supplies. My mom actually got me a couple things for my birthday. That was yesterday. Um, so I'm going to show you guys that stuff first and then I'll get into all of my tips and basically how I survive nursing school as a mom and working full time and just basically how I do it. Also, please ignore the mess behind me because it has been a stressful week to say the least. I'll also kind of touch on that a little bit here in a second. Um, but first I want to show you guys these two um, nursing things that I <laughs> got this past week that my mom got for me. I am so thankful for her. Um, thank you so much mom if you're watching this for these two things. So the first thing is a new stethoscope. So actually I had a stethoscope and I've had it for probably three or four years. I got it when I was a CNA um, and I worked in home health. Um, and basically it's just kind of getting older it is a um litman but it's one of the older versions and it was just burgundy and that is kind of fading on the tube part and i've just had it for a really long time so my mom got me another one um so i'm so thankful for that but i wanted to show you guys because it is gorgeous it is so pretty i love it so much i got the um black tube with the rainbow finished chest piece so i'm going to show you guys this it is so cute um, so I'm going to open it and show you guys. Um, so this is what it looks like. I think she got it on Amazon. I'll try to link it down below for you guys if you are interested, but it is so pretty. It's just plain black and the, even like the ear pieces are black and then the chest piece is, has a rainbow finish on it and it is so pretty. I'm going to see if I can get it to focus for you guys. There we go. It is so pretty you guys. I literally can't get over it. I'm so in love with it. I can't wait to use it um, at my clinicals coming up, which I'm going to tell you guys about that too because it has been a stressful week. Like I said, um, this past week has been our spring break and we had plans of going to New York, which if you guys saw my last vlog, we canceled our flight. Um, and I wanted to touch on that too because we didn't really, we didn't cancel our flight because we absolutely had to. There was a level three advisory for traveling abroad. Um, we were going to New York and there was more and more cases popping up in New York. And our fear was that we would get to New York and they would close down like the airlines or like, you know, it'd be a level four and there would be no travel whatsoever. Um, so that was our fear. And with having a young child, we were just, we didn't want to chance it just because we couldn't go that long without seeing her, without being with her um and we had school we had work so you know if we didn't have like so many responsibilities and places to be we might have considered but we just decided to cancel our trip um we canceled our flight we canceled our hotel we canceled everything and we are still kind of talking to the insurance and stuff and trying to see if we can get um our money back or at least a credit of, of some sort to go at a later date um, so I'll keep you updated on that part, but anyways, <laughs> kind of got off topic, but, um, this is a stethoscope. It is so gorgeous. I love it so much. These are so pretty. And if you're wondering, this is the Littman Classic 3, I believe it's called. Um, so yeah, and then kind of to go along with that, my mom also got me this little case to put my stethoscope in. I think it's so cute and I also love this because you can put like your bandage scissors done in here, your pin light, um, you know, your pull socks, whatever you need to put in there and then your stethoscope goes here and you can have it all together and then you can just put it on your clinical bag, work bag, whatever. I love it so much. I think it's so pretty. Um, my clinicals is actually canceled right now because of the coronavirus. Um, we have, I actually had seven of the hospital clinicals and two of the school nurse clinicals like community clinicals left um so i had 76 hours of hospital clinicals to finish and for now they have postponed that it has been canceled from march 16th through the 30th which was when the majority of my clinicals were so that has been a big just bump in the road i guess you'd call it 
Um, and also, like I mentioned, my spring break was last week and we were supposed to go back on Monday. Today is Saturday. Um, and they have extended our spring break for a week. Um, as of now, there are several, several colleges and universities that have closed like the whole semester. Um, they're doing stuff online. But the thing about nursing school is it's really, really hard to do nursing school online. Um, because like I said before, I have like 76 hours of hospital clinicals left for the semester. I have, I think around 16 ish hours of the community clinicals, clinicals left. So, you know, that is, I don't even, I can't do that math right now, 92, I think, 92 hours of clinicals that I have left to do. And we don't have that much time left. Um, and I was supposed to have a quiz on Monday. So on my part, I'm just going to do like the online work. I'm going to study. I'm going to try to make flashcards and make use of my time. Um, because that is something that I wanted to touch on today was time management. I get asked so much how that I am in nursing school. I have a two-year-old. I work. I, um, I do all of these things while in nursing school. I get asked also how I go to the gym. How did I make time for all this stuff being a full-time nursing student? So, I'm here to talk about that. Um... So my biggest tip is time management. Get a planner, get a piece of paper, make a to-do list. Um, from the time you wake up to the time you go to bed, have your day planned out strategically so you know what time you need to do what. Um, and then if you forget to do something or whatever, you know, you can try to fit it in later. Um, make it a checklist. Actually, studies have proven that checklist is the best way to be productive because you can actually visualize your items on your list being checked off. And it, I, for some reason, it just gives me and I guess other people more motivation to finish checking off everything on your to-do list. I am obsessed with making to-do lists. I have several notebooks. I have a planner. I have lists on my phone. Um, Seth personally likes reminders. I don't like the reminders as much because I kind of, I forget to actually like check them or whatever <laughs> for some reason. Um, I prefer a list or actually prefer everything in writing. I don't necessarily like the to-do list on my phone that much, but I will use it if I do need it. Sometimes I use it for like my videos or for, um, grocery list stuff like that just so it's not in paper but as far as like having a to-do list I like to have it on paper so that I can mark it out check it off um add things to it I don't know I just like the look of something on paper so that is my biggest tip is to plan out your day um and know you know what you need to do a lot of times also I will make a list when I when I go to bed at night I will make a list of the things I need to do that morning things I need to pack things I need to put in a bag um just so so I don't forget anything because let me tell you when you have a full packed day a plant of things when you're a mom when you're trying to work trying to go to school um, it is hard to remember everything so um, <clears throat> what I like to do is when I lay in bed at night I pull up my notes on my phone and I make a list of my morning routine that may sound silly also if you guys want a morning routine video here soon comment down below and let me know because I may be doing that actually um but what I do is when I lay in bed at night I make a list um <laughs> this is gonna sound so silly but like I make a list like put clothes on um <laughs> put makeup on do hair and that may sound so silly but it is just so satisfying for me to be able to check that off my list. I am so much more productive when I can check things off of my list. And when you feel productive, it makes you want to be more productive. And also, another tip that I have is getting ready. Um, I also get asked a lot why that I get ready for school, why I put makeup on, why I do my hair. Um, for me, when I am, when I feel like like ready when I feel you know when I don't feel so ugly like I don't know how else to say that I don't know how else to put it but like when I don't have makeup on when I wake up in the morning when I have my pajamas on when I my hair is not done I just I feel so like 
ugly. I feel so gross. Um, so that just doesn't give me any motivation at all. I feel so much more motivated, ready to take on the day when I have my hair fixed, my makeup on, um, not necessarily a cute outfit on, but like some sort of outfit that's not pajamas. I feel so much more productive. Um, when I actually get ready for the day. So that is why I get ready for school. I make time to do that. Like I said, I plan that in my to-do list to get ready, put my makeup on, put my clothes on, um, pack a lunch, pack Bailey's bag, get Bailey ready. I, I plan all those things so that I know I have time for them. I know that I've done them. I know that Bailey has everything she needs while I'm at school, while, while I'm away. I know that she has the things she needs. I have the things I need. And I know what I need for the day because I have that also on my list. So that is my biggest tip is make a checklist, make a to-do list, um, and plan to be productive. If you don't plan to be productive, if you don't have a list of what you actually need to do, chances are you're probably not going to do the things because you don't really know what you need to do. So that is also another tip I have is like your, your schoolwork. Um, whether it's clinicals or whether it's sim lab, whether it's just a regular like skills lab, whether it's a lecture, a test, put that on your to-do list. Um, and the night before, study for it. Or the week before, study for it. You know, plan out your list so that you know what you have to do. And that way you can just be productive. You can manage your time efficiently. I hope this is helping you guys because these are the things that I do that that makes me stay sane. Um, I will say though, I'm a lot less stressed this semester. Um, I guess because last semester it was so fresh and so new and I had a really, really big workload of things. Um, like I had five classes last, sem last semester. This semester I only have three, but two of those have quite a big, um, load of like clinicals in them. Last semester was more of like my skills classes. I had assessments. I had stuff like that to study for. And that really stressed me out because it wasn't actually doing it on a patient. It was doing it on a, a mannequin in a lab in front of an, an instructor. And for some reason that just really stressed me out. Um, but if you guys have any questions on that, feel free to ask me. I usually always reply to Instagram messages um, as long as I see them. I, I see the majority of them. And um, I'm usually pretty good about replying to them. So you can send me questions on Instagram in the comment section. I usually always read all the comments. Um, so, yeah. This semester, <clears throat> I don't really have as big as of a workload um, as I did last semester. So I'm a lot better at managing my time. I don't have as much stuff to do. I don't have near as much homework this time. But it's also more studying this semester. Not so much assignments like it was last semester. I actually had to like take time, sit down, study, um, plan out my like assessments to do those, check offs and stuff. Um, this semester it's more of like independent studying and so I kind of do that differently. I do plan on making a video in the future on like note taking and stuff if you guys are interested in that. Um, once I kind of figure out exactly what I'm doing and how I study, I will be making it that video. But I hope these tips have helped you guys because I... I know it is so stressful and so hard. I get comments all the time that you guys are having a hard time. You're about to start nursing school. You're stressing out. Um, so my biggest tip that I have is try not to stress because the more stressed you are, the more you're going to like panic over stuff. You're going to be a nervous wreck and it's just going to make things a lot worse than they have to be. Um, just stay strong. Be confident in yourself. Be the best mom you can be. Be the best student you can be. Prioritize um, what is most important to you and how you do things. And don't forget, make a list. Make a checklist. Plan out your productive day so that you can be productive. So I hope that you guys enjoyed these tips. If you did, if this helped at all, please give this video a big thumbs up. It really helps me. And comment down below any videos you want to see, any tips you have maybe for me or others. Um, and hit that subscribe button if you guys aren't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.